in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed change and transform us to light Lord I know that you will do this for the sake of your glory we surrender all to you let this place remain a place of healing a place of deliverance a place of transformation a place where men meet with the king Thank you, Lord Jesus, because it's by the power of the Holy Ghost, no man is able to do this. Week after week, we gather in your presence. I pray in the name of Jesus that you help us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let tonight not be an ordinary night, O oh God change our destinies change our destinies we declare how much we love you and how much we need you we appreciate the things that you're doing in our midst we refuse to take for granted the miracles and the manifestations of your grace we come with hearts of gratitude and Lord we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. Your home. This is your house, your home. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you today. Lord, we welcome you today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never, never take for granted what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Every time you come for this meeting, realize that it's an opportunity for you to meet with him. Hallelujah. So that you don't just come and not receive. We want you to leave with something that will make a mark in your life. In the name of Jesus. Welcome everyone around you. Thank you for coming. Please hug someone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight's teaching is very powerful. Um, 
Hallelujah. There are certain times in our lives when God brings messages that can alter our destinies. Every message is important. I believe it is powerful. But there are certain times when God just steps in and grants you keys and revelations that will make you so powerful and so blessed. I believe that if you take seriously what you are going to hear tonight, it will open us to new dimensions of glory in the name of Jesus. Help us tonight, dear Spirit of God. You are the only helper we have. Grant us grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of the greatest assets that a Christian can have in his life it's not just the ability to pray. It's not just the ability to, to study God's word. It's not even just the ability to love God. But one of the greatest assets that a believer can have is the ability to interpret spiritual things. Hallelujah. The ability to relate the things that happen in the earth realm from the perspective of the heavens. The Bible says the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times. Praise God. When in the days of Belshazzar, the Bible says that there was a handwriting that came from the realm of the spirit and wrote on the wall, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Ufesen. And no man, including the soothsayers and the magicians, could interpret it. Hallelujah. One of the greatest assets that we need in these days as believers is to contend for that place in the spirit where we are able to interpret the handwritings that are on the wall so that we can understand the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. We can understand the pathways in the spirit. And this is what we seek to enforce in this place. All the principles that we teach in this place, all of the times of prayer and impartation, is to open us to that point in the spirit where we are able to relate with spiritual things. For the Bible says, the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit. Why? Because it takes a level of discernment in the spirit to interpret it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I was excited when the Lord asked me to share what I'm about to share tonight. Because I believe that someone's life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'm teaching on a subject I titled Activating Breakthroughs. Activating Breakthroughs. And then you put a colon. The Ministry of Destiny help us. Activating Breakthroughs. Colon. The ministry of destiny help us. The beauty of Christianity, please listen, look up. The beauty of Christianity is that every time we relate to God, either in worship, in fastings, in prayer, there is always a response from heaven. Hallelujah. A response from heaven to this earth realm. Hallelujah. And so God responds to us by releasing miracles, by releasing signs, wonders, by granting us the ability to partake of his success. Hallelujah. Christianity is very, will be very unfair on the part of God if the believers do not have an opportunity to participate in the love and the honor and the glory that God carries. I love the song that the worship team just rendered. That not only does God want to use us, but he wants us to have the opportunity to partake of everything that he has. It establishes our oneness and his desire to bless us. Hallelujah. And so the subject of breakthrough has been something on my mind. I've seen churches and ministries passionate about God, passionate about the things of God. 
I've seen ministries that fast, that pray, call upon the name of God. They walk in holiness and righteousness. But not many of their congregations ever truly experience breakthroughs. Hallelujah. The sick people come, they go back sick. The oppressed people come, they go back oppressed. The only notable thing that happens in that environment is that there are souls being saved. And while that is wonderful and great, what about families that are in bondages? What about destinies that have been tied down? What about people who need to step into the blessings of God? Hallelujah. And eventually, the congregations begin to ask questions and say, is, is God not interested in our personal well-being? Is he just interested in using us for his glory? Is he just interested in watching us pray and fast, you know, interceding for souls and so on and so forth? Is he just interested in seeing us serve him? What do we have? What package has he designed? Is he insensitive to our needs? Is he unaware of the challenges that our families have? Hallelujah. Is he aware that there are doors that have been closed over families and destinies? If yes, is he interested in doing anything about it? Hallelujah. And it's important that as we minister to God's people, we open them up to everything that can be obtained in God. By God's grace, we teach you prayer. We teach you how to walk in the world. We teach you how to live in obedience to God. But we must also expose you to the dimensions of God that can release breakthroughs in your life. Hallelujah. That's why we take testimonies every week. As a symbol of what God is doing in the lives of his people. Because you see, when you receive personal results in your life, you are motivated to follow God. That may not be your primary reason, but it can motivate you. Is that true? When, when you receive phone calls like the gentleman who just shared, where's the gentleman that shared about his mom? You can imagine. Now he comes for the meeting and then while he's sitting under the ad atmosphere of God's presence, his mom gets healed somewhere. Hallelujah. Do you believe this guy has been motivated to press more into God? Believers are motivated if you See, he said, when John the Baptist sent that they should ask Jesus Christ if he was the Messiah, he didn't answer the disciples. He just turned and began to heal the sick. Began to do miraculous things. And then when he was done, he told John, he told the disciples, say, go and tell John what you have seen. In other words... The kingdom of God should find visible expression. The kingdom of God represents the entirety of God's sovereignty. His power. If God is as powerful as we preach, if God is as great, if he's as loving and caring as we teach, then don't you think that at a point in your life, your life should experience some testimonies that can encourage you, that you can have a message for yourself and say, I have seen the hand of God in my life. I have seen the intervention of God. I've seen breakthroughs in my families. And I told God something. I said, Lord, I never want to be part of a ministry that does not have results. Hallelujah. I don't want to just come and deceive God's people. And it's not enough just to fall down and stand up. If you're falling down, it's not producing results. You will get angry one day. Hallelujah. But thank God we have a God that is alive and is doing wonders in our midst. Hallelujah. And so I'm sharing on activating breakthroughs. In my personal life and in my journey in the spirit, there are four things that characterize seasons of breakthrough in a man's life. Please take this teaching very seriously. Four things. Every time a man is about to step into prophetic defining moments moments of breakthrough i'm not just talking of one testimony here realms of breakthrough where god is about to step into a life and truly do something notable there are four things that happen 
when you approach that season of your life i'm teaching you this so that you can know and relate with these seasons when they come hallelujah again one of the things i learned watching the film lord of the rings is the fact that they were warriors from different kingdoms and what made these people warriors was not just their ability to fight but the ability to understand seasons hallelujah when other men just stumbled into seasons those men could look and discern i remember one of them looking and seeing a red cloud and he said blood had been shed in the night the ability to look when other people are just looking you are standing from a plane in the spirit and you are saying this has happened because something is happening the wise men hallelujah the wise men saw a star and while other people were saying ah, ah why is the earth shining like this they understood that this is a message in the realm of the spirit that they ought to respond to hallelujah so while the star was supposed to lead men to where jesus was some other people just looked and they were moving around and they were happy yet others were taking advantage of the seasons so i don't just want you to interpret the happenings around life from an earth realm hallelujah i want you to be able to see prophetic things that when you see handwritings on the wall you don't just pass it many people have missed out on seasons of breakthrough because they have not been taught to discern moments of breakthrough in their life many families would have risen from where they are, from where they are into the prophetic destiny that god has for them but because they do not know how to understand spiritual things so follow me tonight four things number one when a major season of breakthrough is about to open up in your life the first thing that happens is that there is an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer an unusual impartation of the spirit of prayer whenever you begin to sense an irresistible urge to pray an irresistible urge to pray not just to pray with in a group know that these are prophetic signposts these are languages in the spirit that are pointing to you that you are about to step into a major season of breakthrough and i'll explain to you why these things happen spirit of prayer how many of you have sat down and suddenly you cannot tell it's not like you are not prayerful but maybe over a period of three or four days or one week you cannot rest you are praying every time you are partnering with what is happening in the realm of the spirit you may not even know but because you have yielded yourself to the holy spirit the holy spirit must not always speak to you his ultimate um desire is to lead you not just to speak to you that your body comes to a point where even without speaking to you you can permit him to carry out what the bible says the holy ghost drove jesus to the wilderness he didn't say jesus let's go jesus's body was so yielded to the holy ghost that he just found himself moving at the impulse of the holy spirit and the bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth you cannot tell where it's coming or where it's going such is one who is led of the spirit so every time you are about to step into prophetic seasons of breakthrough you know what a breakthrough is a breakthrough is when the barrier that is limiting you from stepping into the next level of your life is about to be lifted or is lifted that's a breakthrough when there is a stronghold when there is a mountain when there is a limitation when there is a resistance that would not allow you to push through to that next level of life in destiny by whatever spiritual agency when that barrier is lifted we call it a breakthrough so number one what the spirit of prayer suddenly you see someone who may not even pray for an hour but you find out that there is grace to pray grace to pray while you're praying it's like there's an endless supply while you're praying 
You can sense in the spirit that things are happening. You cannot tell what it is that is happening. But you know that the more you press, your prayer is doing something and is having an effect in your spirit directly. Sometimes you begin to pray and you get to a point in your spirit where you can even start laughing. I'm not talking of laughing in the spirit. Joy that you cannot explain because a cord is being hit in the spirit. But many people, when they get to that point, because they do not know the significance of that dimension of prayer, they do not partner with the angels to bring in complete breakthroughs. And they go back and miss out on cycles and seasons of breakthrough that would have come. Are you getting blessed? Number two, when you are about to enter a prophetic season of breakthrough in your life, the second thing that happens is an unusual grace to give. An unusual grace to give. An unusual grace. When you are about to step into those prophetic seasons, suddenly you lose value of everything around you. You just know that I can give anything and it won't matter again. When that begins to happen to you, take note. Have you gotten to a point where you sit down and just look at your clothes and you can carry about 20 or 30% of them and just say, I'm going to sew it. And I tell you, there is a dissociation between you and those things is because you are about to step into a new level. You see how many of you have missed out on such seasons because you did not know how to take advantage. If you could take advantage of it, you would have stepped into major seasons of breakthroughs. This that I'm teaching you is born out of the word of God and practical experiences. Hallelujah. There are many of you who can just be walking and the next thing God tells you, go for a retreat quick. You are supposed to travel. God just summons you and says, go for a retreat. The moment that happens, make sure nothing is too important to make you cancel that appointment. Hallelujah. Because that's not just your normal prayer for spiritual growth. It is a call to contend with the things in the heavens so that you will step into a prophetic season in your life. So number one, the spirit of prayer. An unusual urge to pray, to travel in the spirit. You just find yourself blessing the Lord. Manda kratosa talabakaya. You are sleeping in the night and God wakes you. That sleep cannot come back again. And you are just praying in the spirit. That's a sign that a door is about to open for you in the spirit. But many of you wake up and when you see your colleague sleeping, just say, Kai, let me just 15 minutes exactly. By the grace of God, I won't add 15 minutes. You even put one leg down on your bed so that you can wake up. And you wake up and see that it's 6 o'clock. And you see, the Holy Spirit does not struggle with the human spirit. Are you listening to me? Because it's not a demon. The moment he begins to communicate to you, it's a language in the spirit. He's telling you, watch this. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Can you stand? So that you will step into this major season. Hallelujah. Number two, an unusual urge to give. Not just, I'm not just talking of giving money alone, but suddenly you get to the point where nothing that you have is like a string that connects the things that you have and you is suddenly broken away from your life. And you know at that point, if God asks you to empty your bank account or if God asks you to give a anything you can lose it including your family members it's not like you don't love them i'm just giving you languages in the spirit you know that there's nothing nothing and you find out that you know that by the kind of songs you sing in your place of prayer you begin to sing songs of surrender and commitment you don't even know why you are singing those songs have they ever raised a song for you and you know this is not the song that communicates what god is saying it's not bad but mm -mm, this is not the song hallelujah when you step in church and they just sing a song we can sing a powerful song like um more of you more of you it's nice but it doesn't strike a chord in your spirit and even you you think you are backsliding no no you just sit down you are not you are not connecting you are even feeling guilty about it you are wondering why you are not connecting hallelujah 
Then suddenly they raise another song. I lay it all down again. And you start crying. You don't even know what is happening. It's a reaction to a season that your spirit is relating with. The moment they begin to sing that song, anything that has to do with laying it down, forgetting about it, you know, your spirit picks it up and that's the song you're just singing. May not make sense to you, but you are getting into defining moments that will open up prophetic seasons of breakthrough. Are you getting blessed tonight? Number three, when you are about to step into major seasons of breakthrough. I mean major seasons, number three. There will be an unusual confrontation from the kingdom of darkness. Suddenly, you notice that it's as if all hell is breaking loose over you. As if the Satan, I mean the devil just told all the demons, say, look, just leave everybody. Chase Wumi. Find Wumi anywhere you see her. Look for her. Hallelujah. Have you seen people like that? So it looks like the more they are praying for you, the issue is getting worse. Hold on. That's the time to begin to see from the realm of the spirit. Because many people are taught to judge these things. Do you know why? You see, Satan does not know your future. But the moment a prophetic word is uttered, what happens? There is an unusual manifestation of angelic activities. Suddenly, it sends a signal in the realm of the spirit. What? Because they know that Satan knows. He was an angel before, I hope you know. So he knows that every time there is an unusual dispatch of angels, something is about to be translated from the realm of the spirit into this realm. Hallelujah. And suddenly, confrontations from the power of darkness, they begin to bring arrows of discouragement, impatience, procrastination, offense. Suddenly you find out that a major season is about to enter your family and your father and mother are quarreling for trivial issues. Why did you bring the tea in this green cup? Is this the cup I use every day? And you are wondering, you are like, Daddy, what is this whole thing? If you learn to judge from the spirit, you see why you start by unusual ability to pray? Because there will be contentions. Are you getting blessed tonight? Suddenly, you are just getting offended with people for reasons they cannot tell. Someone looks at you and says, beautiful hair. You say, hey, mock me. Ah, even you, you are finding what is wrong. People say, you are being so edgy. You are being offensive. What is wrong? Say, even me, I don't know what is happening. But God is telling you, go and pray. Because you are stepping into prophetic moments. Are you listening to me? The powers of darkness are finding access points that they can step into your life. And on legal grounds, hinder what God wants to do. Are you seeing why praise is a tool for victory? You see why God will give you? Are you seeing that? This is why sometimes when breakthroughs are about to come, God will distract you with praise. So that before you realize the breakthrough can come. So you lock yourself and you are just dancing in it. You don't even know why you are dancing. Because with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation many people have lost it at this point suddenly you find out that everybody is just offending you you are about to go and pray you are sensing in your spirit and somebody comes and says let me tell you something selena um i wouldn't have told you but let me tell you do you know what your sister said and you are like what again these are dangerous seeds that, that will stop you from entering prophetic moments of your life. Hallelujah. Or you are about to go and pray and then a call comes. And your mother says, do you know what happened? There was an accident. Ah -ah. In your dreams, you are seeing your family members rejoicing. You haven't seen them cutting cake. In the physical, you are hearing that one car has. At such times, many people just dampen their spirits. The Bible says, for as long as the hands of Moses kept 
it, it was up. What happened? There was victory. When Aaron and her were tired and they began to bring the hand, what happened? How can a man's hand control the victory that is happening in a war front? Many people do not understand spiritual pathways. And I'm telling you, the more you have this knowledge, the more you will reign in life. unusual confrontations in fact for some of you they may even be direct confrontations you're just walking and for the first time you hear a voice saying you will die you will die and you carry that mindset it's a seed that the devil wants to sow into your life that's the day you got up and found out that your shirts that they eye on your roommate why is hey god let me kill somebody today where is she prophetic moments notice that the moment that season is aborted all those disturbances just minimize and you can live your normal life are you are you listening to me prophetic seasons and then number four number four is suddenly you will begin to attract certain people called destiny helpers destiny helpers there will be prophetic unusual encounters please let me have two people my god open our eyes tonight teach us mysteries in the spirit come you stand up here kenny sam just stay down hallelujah watch this this is a level look up everybody this is a level is that correct this gentleman wants to step into this level and he has been walking now he has gotten to this prophetic shift hallelujah while he's praying and fasting this is what happens can i have a third person anybody thank you pastor Femi. suddenly god you just be walking sam yes just be coming and God comes and causes you to intercept at the exact time with certain people he calls destiny helpers. Their job, hold his hands, is to help you and guide you to step up and they will leave. Sam, you climb, climb up, Femi, go back. That's their job. Sometimes they will come into your life just once and you may never see them again. Follow me tonight. God bless you, sirs. Four things happen to believers. This is the structure of God's kingdom. Hallelujah. When Jesus was going to go and bring a major breakthrough to a man who was possessed of devils and to go and preach in Gadara, what happened? They were in the boat, in, the, in, the, in their boat. Is that correct? Suddenly, the sea started getting boisterous. Question. Was that the first time they were going by sea? I hope you realize that the sea was not just doisterous. It was the demons, the legions of devils that were in the man at Gadara that were reacting, attempting to stop them from coming. Hallelujah. Notice, did you notice that the disciples started getting angry at Jesus Christ? They got offended. They said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? When Jesus woke up, he knew that he needed to calm them down and he said shalom what happened the bible tells us that that madman used to stay in caves who told him jesus was coming because the moment jesus stepped into gadara he was there waiting he was the first person he met hallelujah did you hear the lady that came to share the testimony about her father that how can a man be having accidents every month when i don't watch so much of football but when you are in a serious match i don't mean friendlies just to shake yourself and change jerseys real match that can change the destiny of a nation hallelujah when you are about to score what happens the people they tell them do everything quack him kill him just do everything stop this guy from score. you find out that the hostility increases because at that point a single goal can make the difference 
Are you understanding this? Many people and many families have missed out on cycles. It's like a spiritual cycle. When you miss it, it will come back, but it won't come back immediately. So your job is to stand and discern. When you see that cloud moving, you begin to walk with the Holy Ghost to make preparations for the things that God wants to release. Hallelujah. I'll not talk about the first three. I'll talk very briefly about the last one. Destiny helpers. Who are these men? Who are these strange beings that seem to come to, to, to stand by people in the path of destiny? Please write. Destiny helpers are men and women that we find on our road to breakthroughs. Our road to destiny. Who provide help for the next level of our lives, our miracles, and our destiny. There are men that we meet on our path to destiny. I'm going to be showing you from God's word. And you'll see how consistent this is. Say in the name of Jesus, I activate breakthroughs in my life. The Bible says in the book of Genesis 41, if you turn there, the story of Joseph. Look up, please. Joseph had a great destiny. Is that correct? He had a dream and he told his brothers. He said, brothers, I saw you people bowing to me. The brothers said, you will see, we'll kill you before that will happen. And they sold him. Is that correct? Do you realize, let me show you all the people that played a role in that journey. The Bible says it was at the time he entered the well that certain Egyptians were passing. Why did they not pass before or after? Forget the fact that they bought him, but they were the vehicles that transported him. He didn't pay transport fare. They transported him into where? Potiphar's house. Do you know that Egypt was his geographical location of breakthrough? Are you listening to me? So how was he going to go there? His father would never allow him to go to Egypt. I hope you know. And so, certain Egyptians, in the name of buying him, while they were carrying him, he did not know that prophetically, there were angels and activities that were pushing him to the place of destiny. Hold on. When he gets to Egypt, the Bible says that he went into the prison. Now watch this. Every time you are about to take a journey into destiny, before you start, God will show you something that you will hold in that journey. For Moses, it is a rod. For Joseph, it is a dream. God will say, note it. One day, we'll make reference with. You will never start your journey without knowing what he gave you. Many of us have thrown it. That jar is it, it, no good. Because it does not look for Moses, he said, You hold this rod, a day will come. When he got to that point in the Red Sea, he said, Remember the rod now, Moses, stretch that rod. A time has come for the ministry of that rod to come in. Hallelujah! For Joseph, he had nothing but a simple dream. A simple dream. Are you following me tonight? He had a simple dream, and while these guys were taking, did he like it? But he was going to the geography of his breakthrough. When he got there, what happened? And this is the sign because while he was going, the Bible says God was with him. This is how you know God is with you because even in the midst of these things, you see favor. The favor and the grace of God. And the Bible says he went into prison. What happened? He was faithful. And Potiphar made him the head of everything except his wife. Watch this. Then comes this dangerous woman who sees this handsome Egyptian. Hallelujah. And on account of his work with God and his loyalty to his master, what happened? The Bible says he ran and he left his clothes there. Do you know if Joseph had slept with her, he would have just been happy and gone back to the prison in the evening. 
and he would have remained there. Who would know that he slept with her? But he would have remained in the prison there. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Joseph was in the prison and God made it in such a way that it was when Joseph was coming to the prison that the wine presser and the baker for some reasons they annoyed the king the king said go and lock them the king let's explain they go and lock them and while they locked them there then joseph steps in watch this he looks at them and joseph is worried about their state they woke up in the morning and the bible says their countenance was very bad hallelujah and the wine presser said i have a dream why did God create a need that only the gift in Joseph could solve? Are you following me now? God knew that he had given Joseph grace for dreams. Then he created that need. And the one presser got up. Please listen. He said, I had a dream. I saw this and that and that. And this and that happened. And Joseph told him, he said, wow. In three days... The king is going to call you back and you'll be reinstated to your position. The guy laughed. He said, please, when you go, don't forget me. The other guy said, ah, me too, I have my own. No. He said, what is wrong? He said, there were three baskets on my head and vultures came and ate everything. Joseph said, well, in three days, they'll finally finish up your case. They'll bring you out and they'll go and hang you and the birds of the air will eat up your flesh. Watch this. Joseph did not know that those two people, they did not have gift, but they had access to the king that could bring Joseph. Are you seeing? Destiny helpers may not be gifted people, but they have access. You have the gift, but you don't have access to the king. They have access to the king, but they may not have the gifts. Hallelujah. It came to pass like that. And after the wine presser was reinstated, the Bible says he forgot Joseph. But watch this. When it was time for Joseph to step into the place of destiny, what happened? God now, since the wine, the wine presser forgot him, I'm sure Joseph would have been disappointed. You now see that? He would have been angry and said, oh, two years. This guy kept me in this captivity and I helped him. But something happened. The Bible says that... God gave the king a dream. You see it now? When God is ready to lift you, those who matter, he will give them a problem they cannot solve and shut every door until your gift answers to it. That's how God lifts a man. Please listen, I'm teaching you a powerful mystery. Because every king, they had sorcerers and soothsayers. This is Egypt we are talking about. Egypt had thousands of gods they could consult. But that day God shut the heavens. The magicians did everything. The heavens would not open. And the king said, you better answer my dream. You better find the solution. Kings were cruel people those days. They could wipe out a whole land because they were angry. Suddenly, the magicians consulted and said, what is happening? They said, we don't know. And then the wine presser said something. Watch this. 41. Verse 9. Kapo Jatabaratosha. 41 verse 9 are you there then spoke the chief butler unto pharaoh saying i do remember my faults this day so after two years the man remembered pharaoh was angry with his servants and put me in prison in the captain of the guard's house both me and the chief baker listen and we dreamed a dream in one night i and he we dream each man according to the interpretation of his dreams. Listen. And there was there with us a young man, an Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard. And we told him, now hold on. Do you know, while all of this was happening, Joseph did not know that he was at the edge. Are you listening to me? If he had missed a defining moment, he would have remained in that prison. Sometimes, could it be that you are just a night away? To a major breakthrough in your life. Have you heard that song? I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see it. Powerful song. Many believers have gotten to the edge 
and then Satan comes in with something that aborts the whole journey. Thirteen, and it came to pass as he interpreted to us, so it was. Now listen. If Joseph had his way, listen. If Joseph had his way and he ever met Pharaoh once, do you know Pharaoh will be so impressed with Joseph that you say, why are you in the prison in the first place? But sometimes, do you see the irony of life. You can see a gifted person who graduated and he's so good. And here is somebody who is a blessed man who needs that gift. But the, that contact. Are you listening to me? There are many of our loved ones that are gifted. I heard the story of a gentleman who fan caught his, some of his fingers. And then suddenly it was like an anointing came upon him. And that guy could draw, you know, um, fine art students. He could do what they call it, um, abstract on the wall. Praise God. And then this guy had been praying to God and said, Lord, give my family a major breakthrough. Because his mother told him, I didn't go to school. Your hands are cut, but do something. Go and learn something. And this guy was praying, watch this. When that was happening, the Holy Ghost began to give him ideas. He said, begin to do your abstract on plenty papers and store them. Every time you see this guy drawing, people were saying, your colleagues are going out to look for a job. He said, but God told me this. Watch this. Suddenly, one day, he went to visit his friend. Huh? When he went to visit his friend, his friend was talking with someone and it so happened that they just opened the branch. This is a true story. They opened the branch of a bank. You know banks do abstract on their wall and they had been looking for someone. The person who used to do it for the bank, he did something nasty and the bank got angry with him. And suddenly they just said, ah, but don't you draw. The guy came there with his file. He was ready. They said, meet at so, so, so place. And he went, do you know that that day he got a contract of over 4 million naira overnight why hold on it wasn't just because the people that connected him did not even know the gravity of what they were doing do you realize that your destiny helpers do not know they are destiny helpers god conceals it so that they will not corrupt what he's trying to do through them the destiny helpers themselves never know they are destiny helpers until the miracle happens one day when you are saying it. The wine presser. If the wine presser knew that he was sitting close to someone who would be the prime minister of, of Egypt, you think he would treat him the way he treated him? Hallelujah. And then, let me rush. They call Joseph. I like, I like, I like the way. Let's look at um, verse 14. 14. Are you there? 41 verse 14. And Pharaoh sent, listen. Pharaoh sent at the recommendation of who? A destiny helper, the wine presser. The wine presser said, I testified that there was a time I needed help. Hallelujah. And a Hebrew guy called Joseph. By this time, do you know what it means to stay two years in the prison without shaving? Without you don't have the luxury of shaving and this. You were looking like a, a native doctor. And the Bible says, I'll show you from scripture. Verse 14. And Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of where? the dungeon. It's only your destiny partners that can connect you to come out of some dungeons. You may be gifted but you will remain in some dungeons until some destiny partners come. Do you know that many of our family members, they are praying in tongues and they are gifted. Let me announce to everybody here there is something you have that is in desperate demand. The distance between you and your place of honor is a destiny help. If you never find these destiny helpers, you can die a failure in life. I've seen this happen so many times. Hallelujah. When we were about to get the venue for this place, when God began to speak to us about Koinonia, we were praying. You know how difficult it is to get venue. Hallelujah. We were even looking for a place to pay for. And I began to pray. I began to pray. And I had a number of options. And when I was praying, 
the Lord showed me, he said, you will use CGC. I really didn't know. I administered only once or twice in the ministry. I said, Lord, how can you use people's auditorium? And then you start, and God said, you hold on. But he had taught me the ministry of destiny help us. So I knew better. Are you following me now? And I knew which tool to engage. Not random, foolish prayer, pointless arrow. You have AK-47, you're just shooting everywhere. You need to direct with target. That's what many believers are doing. We just pray, but we do not know. The Bible says, through wise counsel, make war. You can, you can minimize wasting bullets. Many people just pray everywhere and say, break to wherever you are. Let him meet you. Calm down. You can walk with wisdom and walk circumspectly. I began to pray because I knew that all I needed was a destiny. Do you know it does not take more than 24 hours for God to change a man's story? God just needs to bring a man. Your father has been praying. He's a good architect. And there are people begging. Begging. They want to build estates. They are begging. Can there be something that will happen in the realm of the spirit? See... There's no time I would have given you stories of how people's lives have changed overnight. I hope you believe what I'm teaching tonight. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Joseph the Bible says and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came to Pharaoh and Pharaoh said unto Joseph I have dreamed a dream and there is none that can interpret it and I have heard say of thee that thou canst understand a dream to interpret it and Joseph answered Pharaoh and said it is not in me God shall give Pharaoh an answer of peace hallelujah and then he interprets the dream. Verse 32. It's amazing when your gift begins to speak in the place where it is honored. Do you know something? Listen. Your gift will never speak in a place they don't value and honor it. Hallelujah. That's why you can see someone who is a worshiper. He goes somewhere to minister. It's not the place of his honor. They don't even honor it. But he can step into another place. Your gift will always create an effect where it was designed to be honored always hallelujah 32 and for that the dream was doubled unto pharaoh twice it is because the thing is established by god and god will shortly bring it to pass look at the ease at which joseph was interpreting this dream and the magicians were all watching god orchestrated an event where all the all the senate members of egypt were gathered and they were listening see listen whenever god begins to prepare a table before you learn to discern from the spirit because he will be taking you to a place you never dreamt of he'll lead me and guide me to the city up above he'll lead me and guide me to my place of destiny I know he leads me and he guides me to the city up above Lord you lead me and guide me to my place of destiny hallelujah 33 now therefore let Pharaoh seek out a man. He didn't know he was talking about himself. Desperate and wise. And set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land. And take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt. In seven plenteous years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that come. And lay up grain under the hand of Pharaoh. And let him keep food for the cities. Just jump verse 39. This is where a man's breakthrough comes. After 12 years of misery, being transported into his destiny by people he did not like, facing situations he did not know were orchestrating themselves for his lifting. 39. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, 
For as much as God has shown ye all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Immediately, without prayer, without fasting, help me read verse 41 to read. And thou shalt be over my house. No interview, no meeting with any council member. Kings did not make stupid decisions. They met with their wise men. But the king announced, he vetoed it. Thou shalt be over my house and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. 41. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Five minutes ago, a prisoner. Five minutes later, the prime minister. My God, how can you explain this? The people who shaved him said so we were shaving the prime minister. The people who dressed him and imagine Pharaoh who took him to the prison. I mean, Potiphar. Now he had become Lord. Imagine what Potiphar's house wife would do. Hear me, friends. God is in the business of changing the lives and the stories of men and of families. It does not cost him so much. All you need is the man that requires what God has given you. He leads me and guides me to the place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city up above. Your mother has a large poultry farm. There is a major hotel that is being constructed. One manifestation of destiny helpers at a recommendation. They can begin to say, Madam, begin to supply this hotel for as long as the hotel lives. See, friends, every man I know who has been blessed in any area of life got to a point in his life where he was led by destiny helpers to enter fearful, mind-blowing and irrecoverable parts of destiny. Let's look at Jesus. We call him the King of Kings. We call him the Lord of Lords. But let's see all the people that played different parts in the life of Jesus. Did you know? The Bible says, I don't know if I should read it. Alright, let's read it. Luke 2. Let's hurry up. Because we are going to do some prayer this night. Hallelujah. Prayer this night. I shared it with the leaders on Sunday. God began to speak to me that a breakthrough anointing is coming upon the house in a very, very, very significant way. And we prayed in that light. Luke 2, verse 25. Luke 2, verse 25. This is the story of Jesus. Are you there? And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was a righteous and devoted man waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was upon him and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Jesus. Hold on. Look up. This guy called Simeon. Hallelujah. The Bible says God told him he would not see death. His job was to wait until he prophesies into the life of Jesus before he would die. Are you seeing? We don't hear the names of all these people in scripture. But tonight I want to show you people who took the destiny of Jesus and passed the button for him to become our savior. Hallelujah. And then he prayed and prophesied. Let's look at verse 36. So one destiny helper we see in the life of Jesus. Simeon. Number 2. 36 now. And there was one Anna. Listen to how the Bible describes her. What does he call her? One Anna. Hold on. He said one Anna. And one Anna. There was one Anna. Hold on. But without that one Anna, there will be no Jesus. There will be no redemption of mankind. There was one Anna. A prophetess. The daughter of Phanuel. Of the tribe of Asher. He said, and she was of a great age. And had lived with, with a husband. Seven years from her virginity. Seven years. And the man died. So what was she doing with the remaining part of her life? Let's read on. 
and she was a widow about four score and four 84 years so for all that remaining time 84 years the bible says who departed not from the temple but served god with fastings and prayer night and day and she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for the redemption of israel she was the woman who was praying that jesus be born are you seeing that there was a woman behind the scene a destiny helper praying and fasting at age 84 that jesus will, that that what has been prophesied let me tell you if there were no people to pray they would have killed jesus because the people would not be sensitive to angelic activities they would have killed him and there would not be redemption for mankind destiny helpers we don't honor them the bible never talks about simeon again the bible never talks about anna again are you following me please destiny helpers at the death of jesus the bible says listen that when jesus had carried the cross he had bled so much and the bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood he carried the cross to the point that this was him and the place that would bring redemption for mankind but there was no more strength and what happened he fell at the point where he was falling one black man meandered that road called simon of cyrene are you following me now and they said simon come they didn't ask him whether he had eaten or not they didn't ask him where he was going they just said mr man pick up this cross what happened a destiny helper he carried the cross cruel men no devil can resist your destiny helpers if you these were men who would not allow jesus to drink water but they allowed a man to carry his cross for him and simon helped jesus and so jesus could regain some strength the bible says that when jesus died there was another strange rich man called joseph of arimathea he had a virgin tomb because the prophets had been had prophesied that none of his bones will be broken and that he will be buried in a tomb that is virgin so god had led one man to buy a grave how can a man buy a tomb and keep it for his own death he didn't even know why he bought it remember when jesus wanted to come in the triumphant entry the bible says a man had tied a coat he didn't tell us the man he said go and tell the man the master had need at once he released the coat are you seeing all the people that played parts when you watch your jesus of nazareth they silence those people and so you don't even know you just see jesus but without these people in his life the bible talked about the wise men once they didn't tell us anything about them again it talked about the shepherds they didn't tell us anything about them again now joseph of Arimathea. the bible says Joseph of Arimathea was an influential man. It was on account of his influence. So a rich man was required for the redemption of men. It was the rich man that used his influence and went and said, give me the body of this man, let me bury. If not, they would have left Jesus to hang on the cross there. Are you listening to me? Now we don't follow up these stories very well. And they took him to a virgin tomb and they laid him there. Look at all the people that played roles in the life of Jesus Christ. Moses, another man. The Bible says when they were killing Hebrew children, you remember? His mother put him in a basket. The word Moses means to come out of a basket. The mother put him in a basket. And do you know that she put a Hebrew material in the basket? and pushed him how can a mother that was a sign of desperation she said let me just push him oh god guide him suddenly the water started leading moses to a place for no reason pharaoh's daughter just said i'm not taking my bath don't they have bathrooms here i will go to the stream this stream at the exact point where the baby was coming that was when she was bathing and the bible says she had the sound of a child she would have said go and kill him when she saw it she started laughing her father gives an instruction to kill people the daughter is saving the major person who they were supposed to kill destiny help us look at the drama that happens in the spirit your father gives an instruction it was really moses they were looking for 
But now, Moses was in the house and they were killing other people. That was the deliverer. The mother, a Hebrew woman, she didn't have much. But do you know what happened? When they pushed Moses, the daughter got and then the maid of the mother came and suggested, say, do you want a nanny? They said, of course. He went and brought Moses' mother to come and be a nanny for her own son and they paid her for it. Destiny help us. I want you to see that this is no coincidence at all. No threat. Moses grew up, he ate well, he was nourished. No join this, no nonsense because there was an assignment waiting for him. He was in perfect shape. Hallelujah. Have you been taking note of certain people? Many of us have been cheated because we have neglected these strange sets of people. We live in a generation where all we are looking for is men of God. Could it be that after the prophecy from the men of God, there are ordinary people? Some of you come for koinonia and you sit down close to the person who can suggest something to you that will change your life forever. Are you getting blessed? The Bible tells us that a man called Saul was persecuting Christians everywhere and having met with God, with Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus. He said he should go to the house of who? Judas. And stay there. Who is that Judas? We don't know. He just said go and stay in his house. Destiny help us. He stayed there three days. And then... They sent a man called Ananias. We heard about him once. Didn't hear about him again. And Ananias came and said, Brother Saul, Jesus whom you saw sent me. That I should lay my hands upon you. That you should be filled with the Holy Spirit and receive your sight. When that happened, he went away. The Bible says a certain time came. They met one prophet called Agabus. He came out from wherever we don't know. A man called Agabus. All his daughters were prophets. And he gave a prophecy. Hallelujah. You read all through the Bible and see several people. Ruth and Naomi haven't lost her husband, haven't lost everything. The Bible says that Ruth told Naomi, say my God will be your God. and my, Your God will be my God, your people, my people. And the Bible says while they stood, a man just came out from wherever called Boaz and he told the people we don't know who those people are he said as you glean leave some of the food their names were not mentioned just leave some food so that she can go and take care brothers and sisters if you miss the ministry of destiny helpers in your life listen to me you may never arrive your destiny no matter what kind of prophecy is given unto you there are many women who will not get married because the person who will connect them with their life partner is not there someone can just tell you come comes with us hallelujah let's go for fellowship somewhere pastor um let me stand up just go and stand there and God will orchestrate it in a way. Please sit down. Make yourself very comfortable. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now this lady sits down. She has been praying for a life partner. If you have not been praying about it, you better start praying. She has been praying. Oh God, a godly man. A man who loves and fears you. And what happens? We cannot even find a friend again who invited her. And she sat down. And while she sat down, Sam is worshipping. Now listen. Come Sam. Sam gets up. And Sam is lifting his hands. As we lift our hands in worship. As we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. What happens? While Sam is moving left and right. Doing the business of the father, suddenly, Sam finds out that he's been drawn to this role. Sam will move this way.
and some will be drawn. And then a preacher like me will say, talk to your neighbor and says, your time to be blessed. And some turns and says, your time to be blessed. And the Holy Ghost will say, did you hear what you said? Yeah. Hallelujah. A few years after they are happily married, and when you ask them what happened, they say someone. That's what they say. Someone. The someone may be in the congregation, but may not even know that he or she was the person who made this happen. Are you listening to me? Destiny help us. Many people have missed out. Every time you are entering a prophetic season of breakthrough in your life, make sure you begin to handle with utmost respect the people that begin to come around you because some of them may not even be Christians. Somebody can just come drunk with beer. It may even be your loved one. And for the first time, you will say something sensible in years. You say, ah, you didn't go for fellowship this night. Then you hiss and go back. And God will say, oh, your address. As you are coming in, that's when God will step into your life in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Men who do not know these principles die as failures in life and wonder, oh God, why are you not changing my story? Hallelujah. This is very important. I have seen this happen in my life. When God showed me that this would be the venue, how it was going to happen, I knew. Listen, the next time you are trusting God for a breakthrough in your life, don't think he's just going to come by an angel flapping his wings and says, take. Men, men have been God's instrument of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Are you receiving something tonight? Am I challenging you? And then we met Prof. And Prof just came and spoke to the church once. Once. And they came till today. Since we started in March 2011, we have not had to pay one naira for this auditorium to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ in this same Zaria. Destiny help us. It's not a big thing for it's not a big deal for many of you until the day you get into positions where you will require the help of men. Are you listening to me? Many of us have pushed our destiny helpers away. Either because they do not carry forms. That's the problem we have with people who segregate people. We are not the rich ones. We are the ones who our fathers are senators. What is your father? Capital, leave this place. We are the ones who are intelligent. What's your CGP? 1.5, get out of here. Hallelujah. We are the ones who are smart. We attended Queen's College. Which church did you, which, which school did you attend? One school, they have even forgotten the name. Leave this place. We are the ones who went abroad. We spent six years abroad. Where have you gone out from? I've just been in my local government. I've not even gone out. Leave this place. When you begin to treat people that way, get set for a rude shock in life because your destiny helpers will never assume forms that will attract you to them. You must have a discerning grace to look beyond them. Some of them may be visitors. Every time they come to your house, you know they are coming to collect your father's money. But maybe that day, maybe that day, that day, it could be some gatekeepers in your house. Every time you look at them, Adamu, Adamu, how are you? Say, well done, man. How are you? You are insulting the man. One day you look and say, sorry. I saw one application. There's one newspaper here. You say, let me see. And you just find out that they need exactly what you want. And it will change your life and your story forever. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I was told the story of a lady who had been trusting God for breakthrough. Hallelujah. And the day they called her for a job interview, in all sincerity, she did not have any money. The mom did not have money there. And it was her neighbor who was a gate man. She begged him. It took a lot of humility for her to beg him. 
guy said give me my money i said make sure you give me and i think he gave her was it 500 or 200 she transported herself got that job when she got the job they were going to lodge her in a five-star hotel for one month first where they would take her are you listening to me gave her 0.8 million to be able to get a nice house this is true life story hallelujah all that lady that lady bought a bike and came and gave the gate man the gate man was resting little did he know his breakthrough was coming she just gave him a bike he left the work immediately immediately many of you in life listen to me this is a powerful message many of you in life have neglected certain people you may stand and look at this brother and just say kai i beg jerry many of us relate with people only based on what we can get from them you need to stop that demonic attitude the day i don't need anything from you you are not my friend again the day necessity brings it suddenly ah uh -uh, pastor femi we need venue you are his friend if that is your attitude you will miss out on many prophetic things you can see someone the person is wearing a shoe that is not very nice thank god for the ten thousand naira one your father bought for you the person may not have what you have but he has a he knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that can open the door that your family has every prayer point has a human being as the answer somewhere every prayer point every prayer point i tell you if you are praying for a job that job is available somewhere and it is at a platter of gold one note can change a man's destiny activating breakthroughs through the ministry of destiny help us could this be why some of us are where we are today could it be that that's why some of our family members are where we are the gentleman that always comes to your father and your father says don't tell him that i'm around could it be that that very day he came with a news that will set the family forever and the person will live and go forever we are going to be praying hallelujah we are going to be crying for a restoration of destiny help us that we have allowed to slip through our hands we are going to be praying for sensitivity many of you treat everybody bad you treat people rude you are hostile you talk to people you say that's how i am because you feel you have your world met together a day will come you will find out that what you have you don't have access to a king and it is god that will connect you there hallelujah today by the grace of god many places where i go and minister i don't know those who told them about me they just said we heard about you who were the people who popped the bible said it was noised abroad that jesus was in town we do not know i only will pray for those people in my secret place that god will bless and honor them you may never know never know sometimes we just get seeds from people coming into the ministry account we don't even know the people could it be that one destiny helper shared his testimony one day are you listening to me see i am convinced that it does not cost god a fortune to cause a major prophetic breakthrough in your family i was told about a man who had been saving to buy some cars you know he just a, a, a little car and then one day when he was going to buy the car god sent him to go and um greet you know like their elder ones like an uncle so when he went to go and greet the uncle he was sitting outside these are true stories he was sitting outside and then a rich man came in to see the uncle and then he told him he said he should wash his car for him and he started washing the car of course he sounded insulting but then that's a big man he was washing the car then when he was washing the car the uncle didn't see him for hours they were just in he washed the car cleaned it and sat down he was even getting angry when they came out the uncle was hostile to him he said why have you come to see me don't you see that i have meetings the, the rich man asked him he said what is it he said i just came to tell you that i gathered some small money i want to buy a car and then the rich man asked just jokingly he said what car he said golf the man laughed he said is that a car he said the next day you should come and meet him in his office i'm telling you i lie not he gave him a brand new toyota the next day 
See, let me tell you something. It's not everything that money can do. Learn this early enough. Because many people brag with the monies of their parents. My father is a senator. My mother is a this. There are many people who were healed in Koinonia here. We still do not know who brought them. Someone referred them on the road. Told them, do this, do that. And they came and they got healed. I made up my mind never to. That's why I treat people with love and honor and respect. You don't know who. It could be a little girl like this, my sister. She may just look at you and pray a prayer for you. And say, God just asked me to touch your head and just touch your head and say, bless you. Suddenly, you see every door opening and you are like, what in the world is going on? Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Sometimes God can lead you to a meeting. You don't know the name of the ministry. You don't know the name of the man of God. You don't know the name of anybody. You don't know the ushers that brought you. All you know is that one word was declared. You carried that word. You went back. Most times, you never get to see your destiny helpers to tell them thank you. There are only few times you get to meet them. four things that define prophetic moments of breakthrough number one the spirit of prayer grace to pray like never before number two a heart to give suddenly there is a dissociation between you and whatever it is that you have number three demonic confrontations that attempt to discourage you number four they begin to come. Destiny help us. They come as phone calls. They come as friends. They come as enemies. They come as unprofitable situations. They come as hostile. Different things. Hallelujah. I'll never forget someone who had an issue with his supervisor. Fanaya student some years ago he had a very serious issue with the supervisor and the supervisor would not even look at him and somehow somehow people began to mediate another lecturer was mediating and when he finally got to call the guy in they began to talk after insulting him and shouting and doing every kind of thing he said where are you from and that was where a conversation started and they wouldn't end that conversation till after three hours that guy found out that there were certain opportunities he desired that that student had ways he knew his father could help out and so on and so forth it was actually a property the man the lecturer wanted to sell and then he got to find out that the boy's father was a real estate agent they exchanged numbers there and that man's life changed who have you been neglecting god is asking you a question don't look at your neighbor who have you been neglecting because they may not speak English like you. Because they may not, they are not charismatic as you. Who have you been neglecting? Because they don't belong to your church or they don't come for koinonia. Or because they are not Pentecostals. Huh? Because they are not filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, there's this rubbish association of religious things that go on. We are the ones who pray. We are the ones who fast. We are the ones who, who, we are the ones who know God. God will always use the most unlikely means. Never forget this message. Could it be that your destiny helper is here in Koinonia, sitting close to you? Hallelujah. When my younger brother was very small, he drank paint one day, took a cup of paint and drank it. And he fell down there and fainted. Created commotion and everybody was just running helter-skelter. They took him to the hospital. But that was an opportunity because people came to greet. Hallelujah. And there were certain people my father wanted to see who would not respond to him. They came to greet my brother. And finally some opportunities was trusting God for came by. I'm teaching you wisdom tonight. Many of you will need to call your parents. 
and tell them you stop insulting everybody that comes it doesn't matter what they have done god can still use them to be the ladder for you to step into destiny there are some of you here there are people that you can never look eyeball to eyeball with you swear and say till jesus comes because of what you did to my mother because of what you did to my father they gave us one thirty thousand to share my my young, my elder brother gave me 2k and when may god punish you for as long as i live calm down do you know that one day a door can be opened i pray every time and i tell god there are destiny partners that are attached destiny helpers attached to this ministry there are destiny helpers attached to my life there are destiny helpers attached to your life once again let me use this last example and we'll pray two people one stand here one stand here anybody you my brother just stand there never forget this the distance between you and your breakthrough is not as far as you see i don't care what it is hear me the distance between you it could be a carryover cause you are praying and saying oh god but they can wave this thing and you have done everything you know to do one day god can just send someone and they'll be discussing about you in the office and they'll say please help this person he has tried the distance between you is a destiny helper and i'm telling you it can be seconds away it can be minutes away only learn to recognize destiny helpers they will come in forms that you will not appreciate them after the grace here there are people who come and just look there are some people who just send me text messages with one scripture jokingly they did not even know i don't know them i don't have their numbers but that one scripture just gives an insight to something god has been attempting to communicate to me destiny help us we are going to cry unto god are you ready to pray god bless you rise up on your feet say the distance between me say it as loud as you can the distance between me and my breakthrough is a helper away say the distance between my family and their breakthrough is a helper away prayer point number one you are going to cry unto god and say lord i i repent of people i have neglected i, I want you to really pray and say people i have kicked out of my life destiny helpers that would have taken me to a glorious level in my life by now lift your voice and pray kapo shatala kapanarara kam prateka tala kotosia people who would have given me relevant information those who would have connected me with helpers lift your voice and pray some of our family members are struggling aimlessly because there are people who can help kapras katala kaposo tabaya wine pressers bakers men who can take you to the king it's not as hard as it seems i am convinced it's a destiny help by way no matter what you need financial breakthrough a miracle a prophetic word direction in your life say lord i repent for neglecting destiny help us i've let them come and pass i refuse to activate defining moments in my life pray on behalf of your family say lord for my father for my mother for my brothers they would have gotten jobs by now they would have built houses by now they would have gotten contracts by now those would have opened that terminal disease would have left by now my family would have been together by now but for the neglect of destiny help us hallelujah
prayer point number two and i want you to pray this with all your heart he said i will restore to you you're going to pray and say lord let that cycle come back again in my life let that cycle i missed as a result of carelessness or pride or arrogance or insensitivity lift your voice say lord let the helpers come again lord let financial helpers come lord let marital helpers come lift your voice and pray lord let academic help us come the distance between you and your breakthrough is your wine presser is your wine baker it's not hard is there anything too hard for god to do i'm telling you in one day god can change your story in one day god can change the story of your family members restore pray restore for my family restore oh god opportunities that have been lost opportunities send them again oh god help us of destiny send them again reactivate breakthrough reactivate breakthrough hallelujah Let me tell you a little story. I have a friend. Listen to me. I have a friend in Abuja. This guy went to Abuja, a poor, broke person with nothing but his faith. Hallelujah. And this guy had been praying and said, Lord, change my story. Help me. This guy was crying, praying. People told him, and you said, stupid boy, you got up and came to Abuja no house no car no nothing this guy was praying and one day it always happens one day you don't even know that's why you must be prepared he was just sitting down and a friend called him he said where are you he said come quick this guy just ran and he entered the room and he saw a big man and some people were talking and he said i wanted to involve you because god asked me to bless you ah. And he sat down and the rich man was going to buy a plot of buy some plots of land 720 million 720 million and 10 percent goes to the agents so they brought him this guy became a millionaire overnight he didn't do anything they just brought him and counted the number of people the 10 percent agency fee was what changed his life yet there are many tongue-talking estate agents who have been in abuja since 1990 since 1999 praying and running with complimentary cards this guy was wearing palms he wasn't wearing a suit palms and his life changed overnight brothers and sisters if you ever forget anything this night remember that your prayer request is in the hands of a man it takes god who is the father of spirits to connect the lines and that's going to be our next prayer point you're going to say lord by the instrument of the prophetic i call forth they that have been destined to take me to the next level to take my family make sure you are praying Lord, prophetically, pray. Those who will open doors of jobs, doors of marriages, doors of ministry, doors of anointings, doors of favor, doors of lifting, doors of success, doors of increase, doors of breakthrough. Make sure you are praying. Pray it with all your heart. Your family story can change. You have been praying and fasting. Could this be the message? Could this be the message? Pray. Say, Lord, whether in Lagos or Abuja or Kano or Sanfara, the United States, the Caribbean, by the prophetic power of the Spirit, let there be a connection. Orchestrate a meeting. 
let there be a meeting pray pray god wants to take you from this level to another it's a year of supernatural exploits exploits by the spirit your story can change activate defining moments activate breakthrough in your life come on prophesy i call them they are coming into my life from the north the east the south i pray for e and i destiny help us are coming we receive them we receive them we receive them we receive them hallelujah let me give you one little story look at me when professor madi was the vice chancellor of amadu Bello university many of you did not meet him there was a gentleman who did very well but he did not get admission hallelujah and the guy just went for reasons he could not explain he went and sat down near the senate in the night and professor madi had the culture of walking into students hostels walking around just to see what is going on and when he walked he saw the gentleman and he called him he said why are you sitting down here he said sir look at my work result look at everything but my catchment area is not there and they didn't give me admission he said you are such a brilliant boy do you know what he told him he said go home and pack your load and come back when he came back they had printed his, admi his admission letter this is true it's a confirmed story hallelujah I know about a student who had been victimized for years till he was in 300 level whatever it is that happened either his name or his matriculation number clashed and what this guy was seeing was not his real CGPA this guy would work so hard but when the exams come out he would not be it and then one day someone just came in and for whatever reason the person decided to start cross-checking things the next thing they put on the notice board that they wanted to see him when they called him they said he should go and bring his results and his courses that he registered do you know true life story when they, this guy was uh, maybe around 1.7 something by the time they corrected everything he was supposed to be in 2-1 in all sincerity my cousin my cousin was a student in this school my cousin was a student in this school he wrote a major exam that he got A and when the result came out they gave him F this guy they didn't know he knew that he had, he had read but you see sometimes even when you have the evidence you don't have access to the king there are many of us that have evidences that would wipe our night time but that access to the king hallelujah and one day God raised a visiting prof who just came and he just complained and showed him everything. The man took on the case by himself until they rectified it. Look at me for a moment. What do you expect God to do in your life and in your family? It's in the hands of someone. It's in the hands of someone. That breakthrough is in the hands of someone. A house to complete for your loved ones to go to school let me tell you no matter what it is expand your mind tonight there are men who are carriers of miracles they don't even know there are some of you that your loved ones need some jobs they have been suffering you know that they want to change where they are working or they don't even have a job they are prayed they are applying cv after cv if it is destiny helpers they will accelerate your path you will jump protocols we are going to pray say lord i receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life lift up your voice and pray it takes discernment it takes discernment it takes discernment say lord let me discern they may not be my tribe they may not be my friends they may be the enemies of our family but lord grace to discern 
when you are about to use them to change our story hallelujah final prayer point now you're going to pray and speak over your life and tell yourself you are breaking through and breaking forth on the left and right don't keep quiet please don't keep quiet prophesy i break through from the left the right the east the west oh hallelujah I activate breakthroughs. I establish it in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prayer. I contend against every power of darkness. Come on, pray. Pray against every satanic force. Pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to abort your breakthrough God wants you to smile God wants you to smile God wants you to smile He wants to encourage you He wants your life to be fruitful Satan get lost Be lifted all ye gates Let the family of Koinonia receive breakthroughs I prophesy breakthroughs Breakthroughs, breakthrough, financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough, family breakthrough, academic breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough, breakthrough in your job. Let your family members smile. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. I provoke it from the heavens. I activate the angelic. I activate the angelic let angels begin to move to every family let angels begin to move over your academic angels move over your finances angels move over your family angels move I activate the operation of angels content with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for God's people let the angelic contend with the powers that delay that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthrough I release breakthroughs I release breakthroughs I release breakthrough I speak it in your life I send an anointing into your life a breaker anointing a breakthrough anointing i send it into your life i send it into your academics i send it into your family i send it into your finances those you do not know i cause them to arise and help you i cause them to arise and help you hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands everybody Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus, everywhere your gift is needed, whoever needs your gift in Nigeria, I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit beginning from tonight 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for every one of your family members looking for a job my god and my king tonight let testimonies rise from this message no matter how long tonight let someone talk to somebody talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of Jesus for your family members I command help us those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities yes they don't merit it but by the power of destiny help us 
I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level in the name of Jesus where you have cried academically I connect you to help us professors who will help you admin staff who will help you admin staff who will help you members in the senate who will help you whether for accommodation whether for your result whether for missing script whether for your wayek whatever it is in the name of jesus as the senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of jesus anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything let a strange man come we don't want to know the name let a strange call come let a strange connection come i prophesy it i release it to you in the name of jesus i release testimonies 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 from this breakthrough experience beginning from tonight i command calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us connections with destiny help us they will travel and come and meet you you will meet them on the street they will come to your homes in the name of jesus you will see them in your dreams god will connect you for every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married the husbands or the wives they are not in space they are here on earth lord we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected christ i pray let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus we command supernatural marital connections in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we bind every devil we bind every power that attempts to cause delay we set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage be released in the name of jesus you were believing god and you know you just knew that look this thing will work and somebody told you he said look let me tell you something eh you see me i'm 70 years old i started this your madness when i was 19 till now god has not responded i can't say he's not faithful though, but <laughs> this is your gym gym you will soon rest and immediately your passion dies down the devil is a liar tonight every truth in the word of god is available for the believer die believing it die acting upon it and you will commit god's integrity you're not going to be careless over it and get a result brothers and sisters i would die believing the word of god if i if i die it's over you can talk well, you talk to a dead body but not when i'm alive i believe his word i believe i believe Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Holy Ghost, yes, I do believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. do you believe him do you believe him you are here seated do you believe that that devil can leave you 
there is a spirit that oppresses you you can't sleep i went through it as a preacher oppressed by demon spirit people told me it's, it's not it doesn't happen well it happened to me brothers and sisters it did it happened to me the day i was free i knew till tomorrow do you know let me tell you something brothers and sisters one activity of a demon spirit in your life can work like an octopus close almost 10 doors one spirit 10 doors you will be addressing it here finances favor open door whereas one wicked spirit sitting on your destiny you may say it, it doesn't matter you watch the lives of people let me tell you when most people come out they come out over the most obvious issue the most obvious one is the one you try to address but when the power of god comes it's like a drug it will scan your body and deal with everything it's only because you need a child now that's why you think what is wrong with you is barrenness it's a spirit that has been enjoying your ignorance for a long time it's just that you've not had an opportunity to give birth so you do not know are we together now there are people carrying the spirits of failure upon their lives they will tell you it's because of this job they leave this job and go to this one they leave this and do this listen when you see different conditions producing the same result there is a spirit behind it whether good or bad you take a man somewhere he excels you take him somewhere he excels there is a spirit sponsoring that result the same way you take a man and give him any opportunity he will blow it there is a spirit this is a revelation to someone already to tell you it's not that they didn't give you the job it wouldn't have made any difference it's not about the job you must address the spirit causing failure in your life and family are we together now yeah there are people who do well in every family they rise up they enjoy the blessings of the lord and overnight they crash as if they do you know let me tell you something there are people i know today honestly speaking 10 15 20 years ago these people were like the happening people in every area influence finances today today they will cough and there's nobody to arise and help them it's a spirit you you will now come and think okay it's just because this one didn't go to school no 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 there is a spirit you may write 20 prayer requests and those 20 prayer requests are caused by one just one spirit and the moment the power of god touches you you will start seeing a ripple effect of open doors that's what usually happens all of a sudden somebody who promised to help you after six years now says uh -uh, i told you to send me your number that day no he just thinks he's realizing it but something made him the king could not sleep and he called he said come and uh, bring me this mordecai did this so 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 and so did they reward him mordecai had done that he had never offended the king as far as the bible records yet they did not bless him remembrance does not happen through charm there is a spirit that sponsors men to remember you do you know brothers and sisters i have learned through life that the mountain that stands before you is within the capacity of someone to crumble and solve it for you but until the spirit of god moves those people they will never help you don't forget my teaching on the gift of men listen to that teaching again it's a powerful secret one of the most there are seven mysteries and secrets that god gave me one of it is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers overnight your life can change because the right person steps into your life overnight you can die because the wrong person stepped into your life there are some of us what you are receiving tonight is grace for the right people to come there are too many people in your life none of them is right all the trouble in your life can be traced to certain individuals that hope their way through your life no have i not said it's up to you to make the world work right now and we're going to engage the world this night violently violently
please drop your pride drop everything and let's cry before the god of heaven and say lord step in step in step in change my story don't pretend like everything is working change my story lord i thank you a and b and c area they are working well i give you the glory but lord this area i've i've come before you tonight trusting you for grace trusting you for grace trusting you for grace he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass he reigns he reigns cannot insist listen if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir you do not deserve it there must be a desperation you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where god produces miracles so you, you you are going to have to trust god get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray john 15 if you can give it to us john 15 let's look at something jesus said john 15 let me show you how passionate jesus is in us producing results john 15 we'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8 listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the fine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me ye can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven 
if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now hearing is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces results so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an an, an, an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, uh, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his namesake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you're not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he said no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you you, you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony 
all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i heard and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Ah, oh, sir to produce one song in lagos is two hundred and fifty thousand. he say okay how many tracks do you have 10 and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we're going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap 
this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap quantum leap where the grace of god comes upon your life divine acceleration triumph triumph shaka pataya triumph by the spirit there are ministries that need quantum leaps if all you do is to invite members through posters let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews please help those under the anointing are you hearing what i'm saying if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god than arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they won't help you when you are in trouble you'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment not to build a house for building's sake not to buy a car for buying a car's sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your you perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we're standing here Only because you came Listen Brothers, let me talk to you Do you know right now Please come When you see a gentleman like this Do you know if this gentleman is successful Many elders will ask him What are you doing? in other words how come your life is this fast society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up God wants to accelerate the kingdom. The coming of Jesus is near. There is a lot we must do for the kingdom. Listen, you can't spend your life looking for money. It's a cost. It's a cost. It's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink. You will never serve God that way. Pray eight hours. When you are hungry, you are joking. You may endure, but your children will not endure. listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years 
people insulted us and said we're noise makers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because you and we're standing here only because you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God please koinonia pray pray hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing 
I've seen it in my family. We are not lazy people, but I'm seeing it come. This lack of being serious with God, lift your voice and break every cycle. Lift your voice and command, exempt yourself. Exempt yourself. Exempt yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing Take it, take it, take it, take it. Leka paroto sopra para na basha na 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 na. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen, Hallelujah. Jesus said, "Satan cometh to me." And does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we are going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing, everyone. We are going to pray now. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Luke 18, verse 1. Please, quickly. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Verse 2. There's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge, which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there 
God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, is, there are people who don't need mercy. They need vengeance. You don't pray if you don't believe it. But let me tell you something. There is a God of vengeance. He said, let God arise. And let all his enemies be scattered. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life, my family. Koinonia, pray. Arise, Sokoto Pakaya. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance. We live in a wicked world, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you, it's not all about vengeance, but there is a dimension of it that is necessary. If you must break through, the wickedness of men is beyond imagination. You are going to pray it again. Lord, there are powers that have tied down my life and my family. Arise, O God of vengeance. Arise, O God of vengeance. Arise, O God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes married a man that God had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no, you rejoice in my pain. The God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you. Only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off. Say destroy them. The Bible says a man's enemies. Listen, listen, listen. Koinonia, I know many of us are young people, but let me tell you, when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility, you will appreciate this prayer. There are men who will kill you and bury you smiling. They will kill you and bury you smiling. When Judas came to kiss Jesus, a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life 
are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges i may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root he says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted lord go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause Are you praying? Hallelujah. 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 Listen, if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony, nobody will ask you to run to the house of God. You will go by yourself. Do you know how many, why many people never seek God? The truth is they are tired of lack of results. They are tired of it. Jumping around, doing all kinds of things. Yes, you don't love God just for results. But you've heard me say it again. At a point in your Christian experience, results must come as consolations to your serving God visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in Christ, the Bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness, the very domain of darkness. Are we together now? So when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith, there is a spiritual transfer. It is only on that basis you can challenge darkness. There are two cate categories of people very quickly. I'm going to make the altar call quickly. When you come, Pastor Jax will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of Jesus you are here and you are saying man of God it's as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you I'm speaking to and I'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside I know there are lots of people you are saying man of God can God forgive me yes he can can God give me a new beginning? Absolutely. No one has made it in my family. You will be the first. If and only you receive him. It says as many as believed in him. Even to them that. I mean as many as received him. Even to them that believed in him. He gave them power to become. Power to become. You do not have the power. But you have the will. And you can choose. Right now I'm going to make an altar call. Whether you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them 
there are people running outside let Jesus Christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why are you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight God bless you keep coming man of God you don't know what I've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shared abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please. Let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly. We have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. 
free now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ free I'm going to pray for you there will be a mighty deliverance right now listen what is deliverance deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life I'm going to pray for you hallelujah lift your hands thank you Jesus. wow I'm already seen in the spirit mighty especially today God is visiting visitors if you are here for the first time God is visiting visitors in a very strange way lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands just keep your hands lifted please bring them just keep your hands lifted your hands lifted God is touching people it's a foolish instruction but it's what the Lord is telling me just keep your hands lifted like fire it's coming on people inside and outside bring them out God is visiting visitors 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 doesn't mean other people are not being touched but particularly visitors Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name Jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden God will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit, I command every devil, strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakatabakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. 
the power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the mommy out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands and I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now. One, two, three. Release them now. 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 Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Johnson. Johnson. I'm hearing a name. Johnson. 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 We are still praying, please. Johnson. My God. I tell you, I see this fire falling on sisters. I don't know what it is with ladies. God is, God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cause that witchcraft now i cause that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my God, hold on. I'm seeing deliverance for children. Like little children. The power of God is coming on small children in this place. I'm seeing children being delivered. 
some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him Hi. there is hardship in your family and the lord is asking me to curse it right now in the name of jesus i cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i curse that spirit the spirit of hardship i curse you now i curse you now i curse you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Get ready for the power of God. Right now, wherever you are, even those who didn't lift their hands, I decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. I release them. I release them. I release their jobs. I release their jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we end joblessness here right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One, seven, one, seven, one, seven. At the count of four, this is the instruction God gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one ta -ba -ta 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 -ta. two three strange illumination four take it now take it now 
the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come thy will be done Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come I don't know how we are going to manage this now ushers there is a prophecy for you the lord says i should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them there will be a transference on every one usher i'm prophesying now that's why i say i don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why 
please keep your hands i want to pray for you don't say i'm not calling to a businessman that's none of your business just listen to what i'm saying i want to pray for you is a grace is a grace i believe maybe in the course of the service we'll call it jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly truly upon your life lift your hands brothers and sisters there is a grace for the marketplace you don't go there through desire it's not that you are a, mon a money monger you just go but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you are a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 there is a woman one of our mothers this grace that i'm talking about is coming on you now now one of our mothers one of our mothers is receiving that grace god is releasing that grace whether you are inside or outside whoever it is i release that grace now there is a woman i'm seeing in the spirit you must take that grace now you must take that grace now on common ability on common ability on common insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit hallelujah hallelujah listen look at me please help them how many of you are trusting god to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. Some of you had quality relationships. But it left your life. Some of you had finances. But it left your life. Some of you even had certain levels of graces. The Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration. Hi, this is going to land on people's head i'm saying this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace 
you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace the words you speak turns things around help me But she's a God that held me back. I want to celebrate God Jesus in this place. Hey! Hey! Oni Se Yanu You're the God of awesome wonders I taste it of your power Oni Se hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up catch up catch up by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release speed i release speed i release speed speed to your life speed to your destiny speed to your life speed to your destiny your life speak to your destiny the words you speak come things around your arms run like Elijah run like Elijah you took away the chain Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. 
now we are going to be very fast about this number one number two please if you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we're going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here a jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who is around again is Femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there's a promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i'd like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir first station here you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't lift the, leg. the hand i can't lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in jesus i believe you believe in the power of I jesus believe. lord i introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now in the name of jesus christ huh the lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg just lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come come try to walk gently come give me the stick look at me look at your stick come come Don't be afraid, come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this.
doing a very remarkable miracle for him. Find him. Find a chair and just keep him. Let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at God. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers go down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. you came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth. Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother, supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hi. You are holding her, but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished pray you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing a strange God, 
God is giving two of them strange favor. Strange favor. I see strange favor. Strange favor. America, God is giving you access. I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head. And God is saying he's giving you strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Muas, God is giving strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? This is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people when I've destined it to be this year. As I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. Shaka parado hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you 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 prayed this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had now wherever you are he's locating you now now i command that spirit to leave you i see you in the spirit go now in the name of the lord jesus christ i stretch my hands now and i command by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still praying outside okay we can just do it this is a listen there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss ah, there is i mean god is just doing certain things it's like something is really happening don't worry about what is happening impartations god see let me tell you right now if the anointing comes on you just know that is the answer to your prayer this is not a special once the anointing comes on you just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone Please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, Liva, pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata makata. So poto so pekete tete. Miracles, oh God. 
testimonies, oh God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The spirit of God is moving over the prayer request. Visiting families. Releasing angels. Releasing angels. Visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence. Visiting the prayer request. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. On, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please say to me, still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is, I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. And in the name of Jesus, they are my friends. But the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives. They are great men of God in power. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of jesus and pastor jakes god is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus 
strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the lord is saying i should prophesy a release i told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaska paskata paskate pash legete to soto prendeke skopariya da balaraba a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah please lift your hands we're rounding up who is this girl come you god has chosen to visit you come come and stand here god is wiping your tears this prayer i'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny i lay my hands upon you and i command the gates to be open now i stood there and i saw you and the lord said i should open that gate i lay my hands upon you i command the gates to be open be open right now be open right now in the name of jesus christ be open right now we're rounding up we're rounding up please this lady with uh, yellow blue you come I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I command uh -uh. I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open. And I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out. And I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, I speak it right now. 
in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Shakatatata. I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Tonight is a strange night Please receive every prophetic word That I'm going to pray for you Ah Just allow me to do one more thing The spirit of God I have not seen this in a while I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria And I see Benway State the spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. Touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway. Benway. Miracles. Locate them now. Oh God. People from Benway. Benway. Strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft. Benway. I'm seeing Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to go, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? O to bar or something. The power of God, I'm seeing that. Going to that area. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Ends with an A. Whoever comes from that region, in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely matato sotota emo state miracles miracles breakthroughs signs wonders miracles miracles to emo state by the spirit of the living god hallelujah If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone the ministry of signs and wonders let me talk to you my dear this lady looking at me you come the Lord has located you today come lift your hands the Lord says I should tell you for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame he's bringing laughter to your life for shame He's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We're rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening... You don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. Now, now, that fair lady, come. This lady, Diana, run, come. Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame 
and dishonor like a stigma to your life I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus my dear look at me I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've paid for, for deliverance prayer and I saw you inside a cave you are just trying to push the door that's why I asked you to come out let me I don't know you do I know you where did you come from where where is that Aaron? Yes, yes, I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. Mm. I'm not a prophet mm. of doom, but it will happen. Mm. He will reach three days. Mm. Huh? Throw mm. completely so that you can move forward. Mm. I hold your hands. In the name of Jesus, every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person, but your relationship with Jesus, you, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not death, oh, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen. I lay my hands on you and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on I don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of Jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families in the name of Jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers I want to pray for you I don't know where they are but one thing I know is they never come on their own they are called by prophecy I prophesy to the north I prophesy to the south I prophesy to the east I prophesy to the west the helper of your destiny I command them to appear now I command them to appear now I command them to appear now I command them to appear now, them appear now. hallelujah come come and hold my hands congratulations I'm seeing a job this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing a very good job and the Lord is saying I should congratulate you look at me you will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost. 30 days, beginning from today, step into those results. Step into those results. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Step into those results. Step into those results. Strange dimensions of results. Hallelujah. Whoever has despised you, whether to your knowing, or not to your knowing I pray may God put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as God honors you I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of Jesus Christ I activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen 
Hagar carried Ishmael and they were roaming around the desert. They said there was no water. But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this all whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata in the name of the Lord Jesus I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now take it I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked um wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oda the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that mantle right now take that mantle right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. 
Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am. Who was and who is and who is to come. something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching